guys, so today I am in Universal Studios Orlando. So that's right, that was me back in September of last year. I'm back so that I can finish this video because once I was editing I noticed that I had a lot of uh, holes if you will. And now I want to fill them up and fix what I didn't get before. <laughs> <All right. laughs> okay so for Universal Studios I'm going to show you scenes from a few movies, a music video, and a TV show. For movies we have Sharknado 3, Bring It On, In It To Win It, that filmed in 2007. Then we have, um, uh, what is it, what is it, what is it? Uh, Final, The Final Destination, which filmed in 2009. And then for the music videos, they filmed Fruitcakes by Jimmy Buffett and My Sacrifice by Creed, but I'm only gonna get into My Sacrifice, um, show you those locations. And the TV show is Unbreakable Kimmy Schmidt. That all filmed here. And then at Iowa, the other park, which I will be going on later on, they filmed a movie called um, House on Haunted Hill. They only filmed the beginning scenes, and I will show you guys where that filmed. So, so you'll have to excuse me for not knowing the scenes well and not knowing all the names very well. I've only seen a few clips of Sharknado 3, um, just so I could get a better understanding. Um, but yeah, I don't. I haven't seen the entire movie, but I know that three of the characters walk around, walk on the sidewalk, and you'll see the railing in the background and that IOA tower um, as they're walking by, as you can see in the picture there. So another scene takes place right here on the globe, where Finn has the idea that they all get in to escape from the sharks and somehow the globe rolls off through the park it goes up in the air and gets stuck in the tornado and lands all the way on the other side of Iowa and top of the tower um, somebody gets hurt and Finn and Claudia try to get help and somehow get stuck in between the V and the E crazy scene well, I thought I would try to show you guys the pictures um, it's a little hard to focus and get a really good shot of it there they are stuck in between the V and the E, like I was saying. So I gotta admit, it is pretty cool to see that globe landing on top of the IOA tower over there. Um, yeah, can you just imagine seeing this on top of the IOA tower? Pretty cool. So for some reason, I'm not entirely sure why, when the girls come into the park, they actually use the exit for the entrance. I'm not sure why, but um, the CEO of Universal and president um, makes a cameo as one of the attendants, you know, taking their tickets. Um, I would think it's because you can see the globe behind them and it makes for a better shot. But yes, this um, exit right here was used instead uh, for the entrance, which I found it pretty um, interesting. So yeah, so like I was saying, um, <clears throat> the CEO and president, um, his name is Bill Davis. He would have been standing right about where that team member is right now, taking the girls' tickets. But yeah. All right, I'm gonna head inside. So this entrance here, I'm not entirely sure if this is correct, but I feel like this entrance is used mostly during peak seasons when the park is really busy. But in the movie, this entrance was also used and it was when April and May walk in to head over to the Health Women's Center. Um, I think it's April and May, <laughs> I'm not sure, but uh, let me try to show you guys uh, this picture thing again. Let me see if I can work. All right, hold on. It's a little out of focus there, hold on. Um, uh, sorry. Okay, 
All right, there you go. You can kind of see it there. So as you can see, they walked into that through that entrance, head over this way, and they walk into that white building over to the right, which I thought it was guest services, but now I'm not entirely sure what it is. As you can see over to the left, there's um, lockers, an ATM. I think first aid is over there. You got guest services here and the VIP. But this building, I'm not really sure what it is. I know that in the movie, it's used as the Women's Health Center, and it does look a little different, mainly the trees. They look a little more fuller than they did in the movie. And here, let me show you. Come on, focus. <laughs> All right, there it is. So as you can see, the trees look a little skinnier, and they put that Orlando Women's Health Center sign right above the door right there. Um, but as you can tell, the building still looks pretty much the same, you know, um, yeah, the lights and everything. Um, so yeah, the building pretty much looks the same. So yeah, so they walk in through there and head over to this building. So the Rip Ride Rocket roller coaster, as you see here, was used a lot during the film. Um, one particular scene had Chris Jericho as a cameo, and then he gets eaten by a shark. Also, um, Finn and April, I believe, also are up there in that scene, and you know, it gets all crazy. Um, but yeah, this roller coaster is used a lot during the film. So another Sharknado scene took place right here, which is the protesting scene. Unfortunately, they put all these plants right there, and you can't really see the bar, uh, the Louis bar and grill sign but you do see that in the shot in the movie and they're supposed to be in Washington DC which is crazy that it was filmed here but um, I didn't record past um, the other side but after he gets away from all the cars that are like all around here he turns around and heads the other direction towards um, the White House <laughs> So another scene of Sharknado filmed right here. Um, that tree wasn't in the background, but you can notice these buildings. And you can kind of see the mummy as well in the background. Um, this was actually a popcorn stand in the movie. And it's funny because the popcorn stand is actually right over there. But um, you do notice these electrical boxes right here. Oh my gosh. Sorry. You do notice these electrical boxes right in the background. Another scene from Sharknado that filmed out here is right over there, close to the Rip Ride Rocket. Uh, three of the characters come out from the ride and stand right in front, right about where he is, but a little further back. And you'll notice the New York City Public Library in the background. But like right about there was another film, or another scene, sorry, from Sharknado. It would have been standing like right here. So a cameo scene of Jerry Springer filmed right here. Um, I believe he's seen walking this way. And then he stands right here to get a picture with Jaws. Um, and I don't know why, but for some reason they took away Jaws. Thankfully, the last time I was here, Jaws was still here, so I was able to get a picture of it. But yeah, so... Um, he stands right there to get a picture and then a shark comes and bites him and like <laughs> basically kills him. So um, really funny scene filmed right there, there is Springer. So right here, right in front of Pantages, a scene from Sharknado filmed. Um, kind of a funny scene, you'll see one of the sharks or a shark drop from the sky and fall right in front of um, the theater right there which is um this is actually a um, horror makeup show if you've never been here all right so here I am in the front of the park um, I believe the very first thing I remember is Un uh, Unbreakable Kimmy she's first seen um, in front of the Rip Wreck Rocket ride and that's the first time she sees her mom. The episode is season two, Kimmy meets her mom, played by Lisa Kudrow. 
and yeah when they're when she's in front of the rip right rocket she sees her mom across over on the shrek ride so now i'm in beverly hills but it's called beverly hills a little walk has a little walk of fame here with the stars and in this area scenes from kimmy unbreakable kimmy films here one of the very first scenes um, after she walks into the park were filmed here. She's seen in front of um, Mel's diner when she's like, oh my God, I'm in Hollywood. And she makes a really, really funny comment. Um, but that all shot right here in Beverly Hills. Another scene that shot here, right over there by the new um, show, which is, uh, what is that? The Born Spectacular. I still haven't seen that show. But right in front of that, filmed a scene from Bring It On, In It To Win It. Back then, that was the Terminator show. So the background might look a little different, but there was a scene that shot there. So I'm gonna show you right now, the scene when you first see Kimmy, um, you know, being really excited about being in the park. So right here is where that first scene with Kimmy is taken here in Beverly Hills and she's super excited. Um, she walks in between two still walkers as the camera pans over and shows Mel's diner right there. And as she walks in between them, the camera kind of pans again to this side and she stands right about there, makes this really funny comment. And then for some reason, people think that she's like a character um, in the theme park and they start coming up to her and taking pictures with her and it becomes a really funny scene and then she kind of would have been standing right right there where you see like no one standing she would have been standing more or less right about there taking pictures <laughs> Would have been standing right about there when she notices her mom standing right across here in front of the Shrek ride. Uh, another thing I was saying is that towards the end of the episode you see her walking towards the exit this way. And you can notice everything in the background. Um, there's also a lot of scenes taking place at the ride, the queue line and on the actual ride. Um, another scene that I was saying took place um, maybe right about the middle of this road, like right in the middle here, where you could see the monster cafe in the background. So like right about there. There was a scene that took place. And then there's another scene where Kimmy and her mom are talking. And Kimmy's really upset. And she bends down to tie her shoe. And you'll see one of these in the shot. One of these. And I believe it was this one right here. I think this is exactly where she stops to tie her shoe right here. Yeah, so they're talking like right about here. You see the ride behind them. Lisa Kudrow might be standing over here. But yeah, so a lot took place right here. So for the last scene from Kimmy that I want to show you guys um, took place right here. They're sitting down at a table, Kimmy and her mom, and her mom's friends are all around them. You'll notice all the buildings in the background, the Rip Ripe Rocket, that, that building that kind of looks like a lighthouse. Um, the umbrellas weren't on the table, as you can see here, but um, all these buildings definitely match up. Um, eventually, they go off to the right and start doing cartwheels, but um, other scenes that took place were closed uh, due to COVID. So when the music video first starts, it starts right here. None of this was in the shot, of course. I think they were putting this for Mardi Gras. But you'll see the lights 
everything pretty much still looks the same. Like everything lines up in the background. You'll notice also that clock in the shot. Um, there's a lot of benches here, which they took them all out. Um, so yeah, it does look a little different because of all of this, um, like I said. But yeah, there was benches right here. And there was like an old guy sitting in one of the benches. And the camera does like a close up into his eyes. And then the next scene is them in New York City, which I'm going to go to next. And, um, and I'll talk to you a little bit more about those scenes. But yeah, so like I said, this is where the opening of the music video begins. What they did for the music video is that they flooded the streets and made it look like, you know, there was like, like it had just rained or something. And so they're sitting on a boat most of the time. They're in boats sitting down, playing the guitar, singing and stuff like that. Um, I heard that they also put like a pool or something to make it look like the streets are flooded. But yeah, half of the video was filmed right around. A lot of scenes right here took place for my sacrifice. You'll notice the Union City in the background right there. That Union City sign. You can faintly see Irish and Palace over to the left. So when the guitar player is um, in the shots, one thing that's super important to notice is that little arcade sign right over there in the corner. Um, you can see it pretty clear in the shot when he's playing the guitar right around there. And the drummer would have been right in front of these two buildings right in front of you. This is where the drummer would have been right around there. Another shot from the video is taken right about here. The only thing that is pretty much different is that the Ripwright Rocket wasn't around back in 1990, what was it, 1999 or something when they shot that video? So you do not see the, uh, the Ripwright Rocket in the background. But other than that, all the buildings are pretty much the same. scenes from my sacrifice music video filmed here at Mel's Diner. They used both interior and exterior shots to film and for some reason I didn't take um, any more footage than this so I apologize for that. Hey, thank God that I um, got better footage because now they've placed all of this where he actually walked into the death by caffeine place um they're setting up for mardi gras so now i won't be able to show it to you but i do have footage from the last time i was here um at some point you see the main character i don't remember his name so i'm sorry seen walking it's towards the end of the movie it's the very last scene in the movie it was filmed right here in down uh in new york and he's he's walking down the street and he crosses it and he goes into a cafe and I'm trying to figure out what which of these buildings they use as the cafe so as soon as I figure it out I'll let you guys know okay so I might be wrong even though he's seen cross the street over here and into that cafe I think the actual cafe they use is this one though because the pavement is actually red and this is more of a closer color so they might have turned this into death uh, by caffeine right here. And then I guess the buildings you see in the background are probably these. I don't know, it's really confusing, but it's one of those. So thanks to that sign, I was able to figure out that this is the cafe they used versus that one. Even though like he's seen right here crossing the street that way I feel. They just made it look like he was crossing the street, but in reality, it was right here. So unfortunately, I got the wrong side. Where the worker was working, he was actually on the opposite side next to the Union City. You can see it right there quickly. So I did get the cafe building correct, just I was standing on the, on the wrong side. Um, he, he was first standing on the other side where I was, 
and then cross the street to uh, right there. So I kind of forgot all day about um, bring it on, in it to win it. Um, but for some reason, it looks like they used the exit again in this movie as the entrance. Um, this footage is from last year as we were exiting out. Um, but yeah, I wanted to add that just because like, I kind of forgot about this movie. <laughs> I am in Islands of Adventure, also known as IOA, to show you where scenes from the movie um, House on Haunted Hill films. They used the Hulk ride as like the ride that um, Stephen Price, um, you know, started or whatever, like their grand opening. That was, the Hulk was used as that ride. Here, this is where you would have seen the sign Terror Incognita in the movie. So this movie filmed back in 1999, so the track has been changed ever since then. So the track isn't the same, so there's going to be scenes that won't look exactly the same. But, um, but other than that, everything is the same. It's just the track has changed a little bit. But yeah, I think right around here is what if they would have put that sign at Red Terror Incognita. So this is where they put that fake elevator. The elevator would have been right there and the red carpet would have been right here. That building was not there. The benches were there though. And the track kind of looks a little different. Like I said, it's changed, but... Um, it wasn't so crowded, I could show you better, but yeah, it would have been right there. So when Vincent Price is being interviewed, he would have been standing right around here. You do see this too. And then of course, like I was saying, the track looks different. You know, they've added more to it, but he would have been standing right there. There's another scene where um, Stephen Price is being interviewed by um, I don't remember her name, but her real name is Lisa Loeb. And I'm not sure exactly where, where that was shot. I feel like maybe around here, because you kind of see the track behind them a little bit, um, but I'm not entirely sure with that film, so I don't want to give false information on that. But that's as much as I know um, for that. But that's all that filmed from that movie here. You know, they used the Hulk, like I said, back in 1999, before it changed, um, just to film that scene, so that's about it. All right, guys, so this concludes my video of filming locations at Universal Studios and Islands of Adventure. I hope you've enjoyed this. Stay safe, and thanks for watching. Bye!